Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call it as main animation width i'll choose 1920 by 180 height is 180 frame rate is 30 seconds and duration i'll choose 30 seconds only and background color i'll choose white color you are free to choose any color you want and simply hit ok go to choose grid and guide option and titles affection and make this into fit just like that now select our text tool i'll choose oswald font as always you are free to choose any font you want i'll type one text over here which is m Select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically, just like that. Now select this text, press P for position, right click on this position and make it separate dimensions. Create one keyframe on Y position. Now select this text, press T for opacity and again create one keyframe. Now hit U. Go to around one second and again create one keyframes on both the properties. Go to the start move this thing downwards and let's make it zero now select those hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so if we hit play we will get this smooth animation just like that now hit p again for position property as we can see we haven't created any keyframe on x position so we will keep it that way. Now I will again select my text tool and type my full text called motion like that. Select this text, press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Go to the character menu and choose any color you want like red. Now bring this thing at the top like that. So this layer is for reference so I lock this, select this M and i'll move the x position of this text like that now hit ctrl d and make sure that you are selecting your text tool and type o over here hit p again sorry select this text press p and move this thing over here hit ctrl d and type t over here then deselect that layer, select this layer, press P again and move this thing over here. Hit, hit Ctrl D again. And now we are not gonna type I, we will type O. Again, press P and move this thing over here, hit Ctrl D again. And the last time we will type N. Select this text, press P and move adjust this thing like that this looks good to me now i'll select my pen tool and i'll create one shape like that but before that we will delete this fill all we need is stroke and stroke color i'll choose black color and simply hit ok now from here to here make sure that you're holding shift and i think we need to reduce the stroke width so we will reduce the stroke width let's say around Twenty maybe. For now, select this. I'll move this thing over here. This thing. We will create one shape like that, and then select this option, and we will select this handles, and just move it like that. Now we will select this option. Move it over here select this option and move this by holding shift i'll move it over here now we will go to the add menu and make sure that you are going to choose round corners go to the round corners and increase the radius at appropriate size like that now if we, if i hit play we'll get this kind of animations now select the shape layer go to the add menu again and choose trim path go to the trim path 
let's make it zero initially create one keyframe at the end and one keyframe at the start go to around one second let's make both of them 100 not 100 properly but let's say 92 or let's say 94 93.5 maybe so 6 93.2 let's say 93.4 this looks good to me and I'll increase the stroke width like that as you can see we are getting a little bit bending over here so for to get rid of it select these points make sure that you are choosing the selection tool and move it a little bit further like that now select the start keyframes and move them a little bit forward select those keyframes and hit f9 if we hit play we will get this kind of animations now select after select those keyframes go to the graph select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handles over here just like that and now i'll hide this thing for now just like that now our main animation is done now we to make some adjustment with this text animations so hit u to see all the keyframes go to the start hit page down button two times select this o and choose open bracket again hit page down button two times and move this over here and follow the same procedure like that so yep this is our simple animation hit fit hit f4 select all the layers and make sure that you are enabling this option which is for motion blur so we will get a little bit motion blur over here now after that select the shape layer hit ctrl d three times select the last one for the last one i mean for the third one what we will do we will choose stroke width to around 5 then select the second make this to around 20 and now go to the start again hit page bar down button two times select the second one and move it over here by using square open square bracket again page down button two times and move this thing over here so we will get this kind of stuff like that so this is our animation now after that select all the text layers hit ctrl d again bring it at the top now for them i'll delete this fill and i'll choose stroke color black and stroke width is 0.5 and select all the layers with the fill and move them a little bit forward so first they we will get the animation of the strokes and then this text now i think we need to increase the stroke width so i make it proper one pixels just like that now so this is our final animation of simple text without using any third party plugin press ctrl y to create one solid background layer and bring it down now after that create one new adjustment layer and as always you can simply apply tint effect on it and you can swap these colors if you want at any color like suppose if you want to choose any different color you are free to do that just like so and if you want to increase the stroke width of anything you are free to do that like if we choose two it's not gonna make any much more difference it's totally up to you so yep this is the final animation of simple text animation in adobe after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned